Hello everyone. My name is Rahul Borkar and I am a senior product manager with Amazon. I hope you folks are having a wonderful day so far and thank you for joining this webinar. I hope you like will like this. The topic that I am going to talk about is navigating a product roadmap and its challenges. Let me start by refreshing your memory a bit. Do you remember this iconic company Nokia which was at one point of time the number one mobile manufacturer in the world do you remember this company tower records it was the time when you had to go to a store to buy music do you remember the company kodak it was the time when people had cameras and they clicked photos with those cameras those photos had roles and those roles needed to be developed and printed Do you remember this company Compaq? It was the time when people used to buy desktop computers and Compaq was one of the leading manufacturers of desktop computers. Now I'm unfortunately old enough to have used all these products. But some of you who may have not used these products should be aware that these were really iconic companies at one point of time. On the other hand I am sure you know about these successful companies Netflix originally started as a DVD rental company and today we know it as one of the most successful streaming platforms Slack originally started as a gaming company and now today it is one of the most successful messenger companies in the world A funny story about Slack is that the founder wanted to shut down the gaming business which was their original business because it wasn't doing that well however they had built an internal tool which was really popular amongst employees and users and they realized that they had something magical there and it is the slack that we know of today it was recently sold to salesforce for more than 27 billion dollars instagram when it started had a lot of unnecessary features along with the photo sharing options the founders quickly realized that people were getting distracted by the other features and the most common features that they were using was the photo sharing option and that is the instagram that we know today which is synonymous with photo sharing groupon originally started as a crowdfunding website however today it is one of the most successful website offering deals and coupons if you may ask what is the key difference between these two sets of companies i will give you 5 seconds to answer your answer this question in the comments the answer is a successful product pivot and a successful change in the product road map at the right time I'll start by explaining what does a product roadmap exactly mean. A product roadmap as per me is a strategic plan that outlines the vision and direction of your product. It can be used as the guiding light for the execution of your vision and strategy. It can be used to communicate goals and objectives to the stakeholders like your tech teams, your designers, your business stakeholders it ensures that everyone in the team is on the same page when it comes to the product's development and it makes it easy to get everyone's buy-in what does a change in road map however looks like it may be a reprioritization of a different set of customer experience outcome or jobs to be done today the customers are today you are targeting a specific customer behavior tomorrow you may want to target something else because of some key observation that you are having it may be related to changing your timelines sometimes it is just the wrong time to release a feature it may be trading off one feature to launch another key feature again you may have your own reasons to do that 
or it may involve targeting a different customer base altogether which will require you creating features to address the needs of the new customer base what are some of the key challenges that may influence your product's roadmap i'll start with internal challenges the first challenge which may which you may foresee are business goals and priorities and changes in these business goals and priorities now as product managers it is very important that your roadmap is fully aligned to what the organization is trying to achieve however if there is a change in the direction of your organization then it is important to align product roadmap with those business goals and priorities let me give you an example of let's say twitter when twitter started back in 2008 their primary focus in the first few years would have been on acquisition and customer base growth they would have prioritized acquisition and engagement features like referral or in under engagement they would have prioritized uh, retweets trending topics hashtags however as the organization became more mature their focus would have shifted towards monetization and they would have prioritized building products like the promoted tweets promoted uh, like the advertising products that they have built so it is important to ensure that your roadmap items are fully aligned to the organization's goals and priorities uh, priorities the next challenge that may influence your product roadmap is the technology and infrastructure when the product is in a growing stage you may have made some technical choices to scale faster however as the product becomes more mature it is important to upgrade your technical infrastructure and that may have significant impact on the way you are you are defining your roadmap on the other hand technology evolves very fast today and some technological advancements may force you to basically make changes in your roadmap one key technological trend that we are seeing these days is related to uh, ai as a product manager if you are not thinking about ai in your product then i would say that it's it it, it it's it's something that the product will really fail to uh, will struggle to succeed in the long term and it is high time that you think of how you can integrate ai in your product and accordingly what are the changes and roadmap items that may be needed to ensure ai is fully integrated in your product roadmap sometimes there are product metrics which influence your roadmap if i have to think of a good example here that will be of netflix so netflix is known for its data driven product roadmaps they really believe and have very strong mechanisms to ensure that all their roadmap items uh, are heavily influenced by the data trends that they see uh, in the customer behavior one example of that is basically they realized that customers were spending significant amount of time um, in searching for the content that they needed and they wanted to reduce this time so they built the recommendation service of netflix that we know today it was basically tailoring recommendations based on customer preferences on what they have seen and also uh, including other factors like ratings and reviews so it is important to ensure that you keep track of your key metrics and see what is the key pattern that you see in those metrics now some external challenges that may influence your product roadmap are customer behavior trends so this is like a change in shift that you see in customer behavior um if i think about uh, fmcg or uh, that is one industry where 
uh, and specific specifically the stuff that we eat people are becoming more health conscious today so a lot of companies which were initially focused on just creating junk foods are now creating variants uh, uh targeting the health conscious customer another example that i can think of here is of uber uber back in 2017 when it was uh growing it realized that there is a shift in customer behavior where customers are becoming more environmental conscious they want to reduce the traffic on roads they want to ensure that they are able to reduce their cost so in order to address all their needs they launched uber pool so it is important to keep track of your customers on what are the different preferences they have a second external factor which may influence your product road map are the regulatory and compliance requirements here i can think of a couple of examples back in 2018 when europe launched the gdpr which is general data protection guidelines facebook had to make sure that they fully comply with those guidelines and they had to launch features like taking users consent giving them visibility on how their data is being used giving giving the users full control of the way their data being used these are the kind of features that facebook introduced when eu introduced gdpr another example that i can think of here is robinhood sometimes uh, there was recently a lot of scrutiny on robinhood because of the kind of features that their uh, product was missing and there was some misuse of and and manipulation of market that was happening through the app so robinhood had to ensure that they build the features which are fully in compliance with uh, with the government the last uh, and important key factor is the overall industry trend and what are the economic conditions and industry shifts that we are seeing so these are some key factors which may influence your product road map now how can pms get better at identifying these challenges the first recommendation that i have is to stay on top of these external events by reading about them or by reading about the technology or by uh, listening to industry experts or by visiting external events as and when possible the second uh, recommendation that i have for pms is to not fall in love with your feature ideas as pms we have strong conviction in the road map that we have built however our ideas should be loosely held is what i believe and we should trust data and customer anecdotes to make the road map choices it is very important that we are flexible uh, to change the road map as and when needed the third recommendation that i have is to gather data conduct market research and leverage the customer feedback i can't stress on this enough keep looking at your metrics continuously keep talking to your customers these are just basic 101 of pms but it's it it is important enough to iterate it again the next recommendation that i have is to stick connected to your leadership priorities keep talking to your leaders on how are they thinking about the business how do they see the business evolving what are the top priorities that they have in their mind and how can you contribute to those top priorities make engineers your friends keep talking to them about the changing technological landscape what are the different things that are evolving what are the key challenges that they are seeing on the tech side is that something that will become a problem in the long term is that is there something that we need to prioritize immediately so by talking to your engineers you will have, get a better understanding of what are the important um uh, road map items that you need to prioritize from a technical perspective and, and the last one is to stay connected with your legal teams on the regulations that may be impacting your product the 
the next slide that I have is to ensure that how you communicate this uh, roadmap changes. It is critical to ensure that you collaborate with your stakeholders uh, from beginning. It is important that you do not enforce these roadmap changes on them and you involve them from the beginning. They fully should understand why are you proposing those changes and what are the implications of those changes. Getting their buy-in will make your life really easy. It is important for you to clearly outlay the product trade-offs. It is important that your leadership and stakeholders understand what are the net gains that we are seeing, what are we getting versus what are we losing, and overall, are we going to see positive changes or positive trends uh, by changing a few product roadmap items. The last part I would say is to communicate the change and impact through metrics, uh, provide enough market evidence, provide enough customer feedback, highlighting the need for change. And whenever you are driving a change, ensure that you are increasing the communication and transparency. Ensure that your leadership as well as your stakeholders are constantly updated on all the changes that you are making in the product roadmap. Your biggest win as PMs will be that the leadership and stakeholders are informed and fully understand the roadmap changes. I want to end by sharing a quote from Constantinos Marketis, who is a famous uh, professor in LBS on strategy. So he says, designing a winning strategy is the art of asking questions, experimenting and then constantly renewing the thinking process by questioning the answers. No matter how good today's strategy is, you must always keep reinventing it. And I would recommend all PMs strongly consider this particular thought whenever they are thinking about their broad roadmaps. Thank you very much for listening to my uh, webinar and I hope you learned something new today. Thank you. Bye.